Hey yo, about to make some corn liquor out of this corn. It's called Argentine Orange. It's a real pretty orange corn. It's already ground up. I'll get you a get you a picture in just a second look how pretty this corn is Argentine orange I put 25 pounds of it in my pot I'm gonna cook it once she gets thick I had about five gallons of water and I cooked it and once she got thick like that I'm gonna add some Seb star High temperature amylase to it. Amylase took it from being a solid back into a liquid. See how thin it got? That converted them sugars. I don't know what that's from. It's been in the bag of corn. Now we're going to add water to it. Put it, put it in our bin. Add some uh, beta amylase to get the rest of the sugars out. Alright, I'm going to move it from the pot into the bucket, trash barrel, whatever you want to call it, fermentation vessel. Alright, I've added water to it and I let it cool down. Now I'm going to add my second step. This is another kind of uh, amylase. It's going to take, the first one turned all the sugars into dextrin. This one's going to turn all the dextrins into monosaccharides. We'll stir it up. Some yeast energizer. I don't ever measure this shit. I just put a little bit in. It stinks real bad. It says half teaspoon per US gallon. I'm not going that far with it. Just a little bit. I'm not trying to rush it. I just want to make sure that it has, you know, a little bit, a little bit of stuff to help the yeast along. Oh yeah, I added sugar until this was 1.080. I added corn sugar, dextrose, until my gravity reading was 1.080. I always want my gravity, my starting gravity, at 1.080. That's the perfect gravity if you're making moonshine. Anything less, and you won't get no alcohol. Anything more, and your alcohol tastes like crap. Now I'm going to add some yeast nutrient, just some sprinkles. I don't follow directions. I'm not trying to rush it. I just want to make sure my yeast is... In all reality, I never really used either of these in the past. 
I mean, I've used them a couple times here recently, but this isn't necessary. If, if you're doing corn, corn is going to feed that yeast. It's going to have plenty of stuff to feed on. This just helps it get it done a couple days earlier. That's all it is. Stir that up. kind of old just gives it extra food to feed off of not measuring it finishing the pack off your lid on it wait till it's done all right it's time to move our mash into our pot using this pond pump if you like this beautiful still it's called the Phil Billy still from copperstillco.com check it out now it's time to uh, turn our SCR box on so we get some heat going to our mash I crank it all the way up and then when it's about 175 degrees, I'll crank it down to about 10 amps. All right, that's our uh, Argentine orange run. I uh, didn't get as much out of that run because I think Argentine orange has a very low amount of starch. So, and that's probably why nobody uses it to make liquor. <laughs> But uh, one thing I've learned is each kind of corn has a little bit different of a taste. And I want to uh, I want to see what that taste is. That's why I'm doing all these weird corns that most people don't ever, ain't even heard of. Or have ever even considered. Because I want to make a, uh, I want to make a bourbon with a corn mixture that gives it a great flavor. Um... So, let's see how it tastes. It definitely smells different. Uh, it's it's a kind of a distinct smell. It tastes different. It's not bad. Um, it's actually pretty decent. I just... Uh, I don't know if you'd want to make a bourbon with it. I'm not sure. I'd have to uh, experiment with it a little more. But it's decent moonshine. Uh, it, it's different. It's similar to yellow corn more than it is any other corn. Um, but it's definitely a little bit different. It's got a sweet note to it. A different smell. A different little twang to it. Uh... I think it's pretty decent. I just I just don't know compared to yellow and red and all these other corns that we have out here to offer. But I'm glad I did it. And I'm going to mix it with uh, some other things and give it a little shot. I'm also going to take a little wood and put on one, one of these jars. I'm going to put a little wood stave in. I'm going to let wait eight weeks. You know, I'm doing that right now with, with this jar. This is a... Uh, this was my super sweet, seeing how that comes out as a bourbon. I'm trying to make a really good bourbon right now. And, and I've made some decent bourbon um, out of 100% corn. But I want to do a, a really nice multi-corn weeded bourbon in the future. So I'm going to find the exact... 
amount of each corn I want to use. And, and it's cool, man. It, it's, you know, it's, it's experimenting and experiencing different, different things. I call it a win. Um, check out my other videos. Like and subscribe. See y'all later.